Hi guys, this is Kelly, another Cooking with Kelly segment. I am going to show you guys how to make the simplest, most healthiest, most delicious lentil salad. You guys are going to love it. Now normally I get all my ingredients at uh, Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's usually has it in has the lentils like this, but for whatever reason they're out of stock. And they've been out of stock for like a month now. So I had to go over to Sprouts and get this. And you can make your own. I just find this so much easier getting it like this and it cuts the time in half. So what I have is I have lemon, bell pepper, green onion, slivered almonds, uh, feta cheese, Persian cucumbers, some garlic, and I'm just going to show you. I mean, it is the best, crunchiest, tons of protein, tons of vitamins, and avocado. So I'm just going to start chopping all this stuff up, and then I'm just going to show you how to put it together. It's so simple, and it's so yummy. Alrighty. Well, so... Since they didn't have my Trader Joe's big packet, I had to go for that Amy's one at Sprouts. I should have gotten two, but they didn't have two. They only had one. Usually it's not that hard to find. The lentils already made. It really cuts down the time because, you know, we live in a fast life. And by the way, there's no, like, two tablespoons. I just, I mean, it's kind of hard for me to cook like that. I just go by what how much I like and vegetables and stuff. So I didn't have that many lentils, so I only cut half of everything. So what I do is I get my bell pepper, my Persian cucumber, my green onions, my garlic, and then I get my avocado it, you can just do as much as much vegetables as you like it's up just whatever you prefer you know like I like you know a consistent ratio and then I'm gonna put a little bit of these slivered almonds they're so delicious and what I do is I squirt lemon like one full lemon. This came from my neighbor's yard. So I like everything a little lemony. And lemon helps the the acidity helps the um, the avocado not bruise. And then I love this feta cheese. Boy, do I ever. So, I'm, depending on how much you like. I just sprinkle it like this because I love a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of feta cheese. And I love this kind of feta cheese because it's like, it's like real, you know? And then, mmm. And then I get my olive oil. Just like a salad. Just like a salad. And, oh my God, that is so good already. I love feta cheese. Then I, you can put like olives on here. You can put whatever you want. I like a lot of pepper. And then I mix it all together. And I have this delicious, healthy, beautiful, yummy salad. And everybody that comes over to my house and they eat it, they're always like, how did you make it? And look, oh, it's just all chopping. That's it. That's all it is. And you'll have a wonderful, wonderful side healthy meal. So let me taste it. See what it needs. Mmm. It is perfect. Mmm. It's so good. Thank you. I really encourage you to make this salad. It's delicious. Thank you. So now that I just made my lentil salad, now I'm going to make uh, some mahi-mahi. And I grill it. I put it on the grill and I let it cook for maybe, um, depending. I, I, sometimes I like it for five minutes. I'll open it up and see. I don't know. I, I always just do five minutes and then I, that's how I do things. So I'm not a chef. I just am a mom cook. So, but I make tasty, tasty meals. So this is 
a thing that I make. So I get softened butter, a half a stick. I, you know, I, don't, I just kind of just shake it like this, like a little thing salty. Put a lot of lemon butter. I love lemon butter. So I'm actually gonna do this. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper, but I like it lemon butter. Oh yeah, look at that. And then I zest. You don't want to go too much to the rind because it gets it, it gets sour. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of a little bit of the from the last from in there I'm just get a little bit of a juice then I get my parsley put it in here and then I thought I had that out so you can just eyeball it you know you I like a lot of lemon pepper little bit more of this. I've got this in here. There. I don't want to make it too watery. And then I just put it on my mahi mahi. I'll put a little bit on this side and then I flip it over and then I put a little bit more on this side. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like after it's done, and I'll tell you exactly how much I timed it. Okay, so I read the cooking time on this Mahi Mahi, and you do grill it for about 10 minutes. So I am going to put it on for 10 minutes. That's how long I'm gonna bake it for. On the grill. Look like this. Go like this, voila, and voila. 10 minutes. Okay, this says 450. I want it down to like 400. I'm gonna cook it down, make it at 400 for 10 minutes. So I grilled them for 10 minutes and uh, I'm going to open it up, see how it looks, mm, look that. break it open, cut, ooh, cook perfectly. So I'm going to plate it. It's a mess, but... You know it's done. It breaks apart like that. Look how good that looks. Mmm, healthy meal right here. And I like to eat small portions, so this is the perfect portion for me. So let me see how this tastes. Mmm. You guys, please make this so simple, so yummy. Please tell me what you think when you're done making it. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs>